do prophetic acts of, uh, of prayer walking or prayer assignments that God gives us, we are doing something on the earth that opens up the heavens. I want to just give you a few that happened in Scripture just to remind you. Jehoshaphat, the story in 2 Chronicles 20-20, remember he sent the praisers out first. Saying, praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever. Because they knew that God's mercy on them meant God had no mercy on their enemy. And if you remember, God caused the spirit of confusion to come on the enemy's camp. They turned on each other, devoured one another. And when they came into the valley of Barakah, which means the valley of blessing, all their enemies were dead. And all they did was gather up the spoil for three days. Come on. Why? Because they did a prophetic act that agreed with the word of the Lord that put the, the praisers out first. You, we've heard the story of marching around Jericho seven days. That's a prophetic act in obedience to what God said. And God said, if you'll do this prophetic act, then I'm going to release the power of heaven down to cause the, 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 the walls to fall. Do you remember the four lepers outside the, the gates of Samaria that said, why sit we here till we die? Come on, if we go into the enemy's camp, they'll kill us. If we go into the city, we'll die of hunger and starvation there. Which one do we do? If we just sit here, we're going to die anyway. Tell you what, maybe we'll march into the enemy's camp. Maybe they'll kill us, but maybe they'll feed us first. <laughs> so they got up and they started marching into the enemy's camp, these four lepers. Y'all know what happens with lepers. Ears fall off, fingers fall off, their nose falls off. So just picture this mighty army of four lepers. Okay, <laughs> it's not a super powerful picture, okay? But I want you to know that when they made a determination to not just sit there and die, but to engage, that all of heaven started marching with them. Because as they marched into the, to the enemy's camp, they heard the sound of a marching of a great army, and they all fled. Come on, guys, prophetic acts. God may have you do a prophetic act. That's how we push. That's how we push. When we were in um, Korea in uh, 2011, the first time that I, I preached this message on Tipping Point, we gave a prophetic word about, um, about shooting arrows, prophetic act shooting arrows across the South Korean border into the North Korean uh, territory. And so we had a whole thousand people that were at this conference, and we, <laughs> we drew back a bow, and we shot arrows of reformation and awakening across the border, decreeing that there was an awakening that was coming in North Korea. Do you know six months later, somebody had heard that word, and six months later, they actually, um, they organized over two million gospel pamphlets got airdropped all across North Korea so people could hear the gospel. Just kind of a picture of what God wants to do. Amen? Sometimes God needs us to do a prophetic act to begin to release the power. And number four, and we're going to close here. We got to push back against the enemy. And we got to pull down from heaven. Are you guys getting Are you guys getting this that we can't just sit back and Netflix our way through the pandemic? <laughs> okay, we we actually have to engage, all right? We actually have to engage in this battle. All right? Isaiah 30 verse 31 says the voice of the Lord shatters the enemy. And in Daniel chapter 7, Daniel says that he was watching and the enemy was making war against the saints and prevailing until, until he was making war against the church and prevailing until. How many understand that word is a tipping point word? Until the ancient of days arose and pronounced judgment in favor of the saints of the Most High, and declared, the time has come for the saints to possess the kingdom. I want you to understand that was written in the context of the enemy coming and wearing out the saints. I want us to stand to our feet. So we're going to do this together. We're going to tip a car. <laughs> tip a nation. We're going to tip a nation. Let's lift.
we shift and we push right now. Father God, we begin to decree and declare your divine purposes, your divine plans for our lives, for our family, for the church, and for this nation. God, we shift, we get under it, and we push with all our might right now, Father God. We do this prophetic act right now, God. We may have felt weak. We may have felt weary. We may have felt broken in the process, but God, you are releasing your dunamis power into your people. You're releasing the breath of God, the Ruach of God, and there's an exceeding great army that's rising up. So, Lord, we push until this nation tips. We push, Father God, until the ecclesia arises. And now, God, we pull down from heaven every word that you promised, God. We war a warfare with the prophecies that you've spoken before we ever found ourselves in crisis. We declare it. We decree it. We say yes and amen in Jesus' name. Can we just give the Lord a shout of praise? Amen. Hallelujah. I want to just add just one thing here as we close. At the beginning of this year, uh, Marty Layton, who was from this church, we sent him to Nashville to start a church. Um, he saw this, um, it, was, it was like in an atmosphere of a lot of witchcraft. He saw this rope that was on the ground start floating in the air. And the rope kind of did this curve thing. And as the people of God began to pray, the rope went straight. And he didn't realize in January what he was seeing, but when they started talking about flattening the curve in March, that's what he started seeing. And he, he began to understand there's a real force of witchcraft that's driving COVID-19. Okay, and I want us just to, to I'm going to ask Apostle Tom to come up here and if, if you don't mind and pray with me for this. But when everything hit and the stock market collapsed in March, he actually had a vision. And I, I don't remember how low it went. Does anybody know how low it went? 19. That's, a, that's as good a guess as any. I don't know. <laughs> 19. It was it was below 20. Um, but but but. Prophet Marty Layton actually had a word from the Lord and said, before this year's over, the stock market is going to hit 30,000. How many know that looked impossible in the midst of a lockdown, in the midst of rising coronavirus cases, in the midst of all this stuff? It looked impossible. But how many understand what happened this week is that the stock market hit 30,000? Now, what I'm trying to say to you is that is one prophecy that we've seen fulfilled that seemed against the odds, that seemed absolutely impossible, but because there were enough people that were coming into agreement, coming into alignment, we actually saw that come to pass. Amen? And I believe that if we stay in a position, we're going to pray for our nation, we're going to pray over this election, we're going to pray for the church that's rising. There are miracles that God is yet going to do in 2020. So can we lift up our hands and let's pray together. As you lift up your hands, let's come in agreement. Father, we come in agreement today that we are the church, the ecclesia, invested with power and authority in the earth. And so we loose heaven at the gates, we say, we will prevail. There will be a tipping point that will shift things into righteousness. Father, we break the assignment of witchcraft that has been loosed in this generation, and we say, woe to you now. In the name of Jesus, we shut down the gates of hell that have been open, fomenting even curses and loosing things of the virus and plagues that want to be released. Father, we say we begin to take that place of authority and put it underneath our feet that there will be a release even of health and strength. Lord, we speak over the church of our awakening and revival is our inheritance. You will give us nations as our inheritance in these last days. We lay claim and we say over America, America shall be saved. We decree over the nations of the earth that the pandemic, that that spirit of chaos, that spirit of pan, that spirit of fear. We come against you now, Antichrist spirit that has been loosed in our generation, and we push back the gates of hell, and we open up the light that shines out of the gate of heaven. And Father, in every circumstance, 
physically, emotionally, spiritually, in every circumstance where people are facing darkness, rather even where death has tried to come or even prevail for a moment, we decree life is going to overwhelm. Life is going to overflow. Goodness and hope and joy and peace will come despite our circumstance. And we loose now revival and awakening in every form and fashion into the economy, into the health of the church, into the life of the nation, into that which you want to do. We decree, God, we will advance, break through, and prosper at your word. And so, God, we allow it now to push all the way over in Jesus' name. Give a shout to the king. Hey! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah!